Hi, I am Pratish Sir. Namaste, I am Saurav Naik. We are doing a project on decomposing plastic. As we know that plastic have become a part of our life and very essential for our daily needs. We cannot live without plastic. We use it as raw material or a byproduct in our daily life. There are many advantages of plastic, but we never think of the disadvantages caused by it. The plastic, when added to the soil, they block the passage of air and the water, and thus affect the plant life. On burning this plastic, produces a series of hydrocarbons that affect the environment and the ozone layer. The burning of plastic can deplete the ozone layer and result in global warming. They also affect the animal life, like cattle, aquatic animals, when they consume this plastic. So, me and my friend had a solution to decompose plastic using microbes. We used Pseudomonas bacteria and other harmless bacteria that made our project successful. To prepare the medium for the growth of bacteria, we used the nutrient growth medium which contained peptone, sodium chloride, beef extract and yeast extract. To 100 ml of distilled water, we have added 1.3 gram of this nutrient broth and to this mixture, we have added 1 gram of agar agar powder which is an algal extract and a chief component of all bacterial media. We are weighing nutrient broth 1.3 gram powder on a sensitive balance to prepare our medium, which is a chief component. Care should be taken that no error is there in the balance. Add a nutrient broth on a butter paper placed on the balance to have a correct reading. We are weighing agar agar 1 gram powder on a sensitive balance to prepare our medium. Care should be taken that no error is there in the balance. Take 100 ml of distilled water with the help of a measuring cylinder into a beaker. Now carefully add the nutrient broth and agar powder to a distilled water and gradually stir the mixture to get a uniform solution. We are weighing plastics on the balance before adding to our soil sample. The weight of the plastic that we took is 8 grams. Now we have a solution containing 1.3 gram of nutrient broth and 1 gram of agar in 100 ml of water. The solution thus prepared need to be poured in the conical flask to sterilize the mixture. Care should be taken that all the solution is transferred into the conical flask. After transferring the medium into conical flask, it should be closed with a cotton plug such that no infection occurs. While handling the petri plate, it should be opened a little with the help of thumb so that no infection takes place. Now we transfer our medium to an autoclave. An autoclave looks like a pressure cooker. The medium should be prepared at a controlled condition with a temperature of 121 degrees Celsius, pressure 15 pounds and a time period 20 to 30 minutes. So an autoclave will serve the purpose. The medium, water and the petri plates are kept inside to sterilize. Now remove the medium and the petri plates from the autoclave and allow them to come to a temperature of 45 degrees Celsius. Complete this process in a laminar airflow. The laminar airflow will provide necessary sterile conditions, blower and UV light that kills the pathogens. Now slowly transfer the medium into the petri plate one after the other. Do not pour the medium in excess. It should be 1 to 2 mm in thickness. Do not open the petri plate completely to avoid the growth of microbes. After adding the medium to all the plates, close the conical flask with a cotton plug. Now the petri plates are ready. Do not add the medium too slowly. This may lead to the solidification of the medium. The growth of Pseudomonas bacteria on the nutrient broth culture medium looks like this. Disinfect your hands with a spirit or ethyl alcohol. Take an inoculation loop, heat it red hot, leave it for 10 to 15 seconds. Keep the inoculation loop in the subculture to take the bacteria out. Now take a petri plate containing medium and streak the inoculation loop in zigzag manner. Remove the inoculation loop, heat it once again to kill the bacteria. The complete process should be done inside laminar airflow with a blower on. Your petri plate with inoculation is ready for the incubation. Transfer the petri plates into the incubator that will provide an optimum temperature of 37 degrees Celsius for the growth of the bacteria 
in sterile condition. Care should be taken that plates are kept inverted position to avoid the contamination and removal of bacteria. Since we are doing a project involving bacteria, we don't want to infect a large area. So we have taken a garden soil sample in two different containers, green and blue. To this container, equal amount of plastic are added, but only the green container is added with the bacteria. Sodium acetate will help in the enhancement of the growth of bacteria. Take a test tube containing distilled water, remove some bacteria from the petri plate and add to the water with the help of a glass rod. Add the bacterial culture, the plastic also and add it to the soil. Now, to enhance the growth of the bacteria and the degradation process, add a solution of sodium acetate to the soil. Mix the soil thoroughly. We have a two soil samples, one with bacteria and the other without bacteria. The plastic are added in equal amounts to both the soil sample. Add some water and leave the soil samples for about 3 to 4 weeks. After 3 to 4 weeks, we have again seen the weight of the plastic. We found that the weight of the plastic was reduced. This shows that bacteria can degrade plastics.